Welcome one, and welcome the other two of you. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. I'm the host of On Top and Hot, and this is Tuesday. It is June 27th. Now, what we do on this show is we like to look at stocks under five bucks, regardless of what market they're on. We call these penny stocks, and I'm particularly looking for penny stocks that have potential to make us money. Those are hot penny stocks. And I determine if a stock has heat by looking at the charts first, not the news or the filings. I see a lot of hot news go cold because it's dealing with a cold chart. So it just makes sense to me to start with a chart that has heat. So I'm looking for maybe a breakout setup or a lot of volume coming in or some huge bounces or a long surge. Something that says I'm ready to run, to keep running. When I find that sort of chart, then I go through all the press releases and the filings looking for that match, looking for something to get the chart going or keep it going. And these are the sort of stocks I share with you each day. Well, I got another one for you today. Now, this is a mining company. Yeah, I know. I just shared one with you yesterday, a mining company. And if you know me, you know I'm not about mining companies. It's just not my forte. I don't understand most of the technical jargon and can't explain it to you. So why in the heck am I showing you another one? Special reason. This is an early entry opportunity. She just came on the market 10 days ago, both in Canada and America. She is a lithium miner going for those critical metals that we need for EV batteries. But what really drew my attention to her was that chart. <laughs> She's only been out there 10 days. There's been five days of trading. We had the weekend and everything. And out of those five days, we had two days of serious jumps. One day at 1,400% jump, another day at almost 500% jump. And she has settled down now and I think she's gonna jump again. So between an early entry and big jumps, I think we need to look at another mining company. So this is ticker L-A-N-R-F, Lancaster. Finished the day at about 18 cents and fell a lot, 65%, getting ready for another bounce. She's on the pink tier. She's current. She does have a transfer agent verified, but we don't see a verified profile. We'll give her a break. She's only been on the market 10 days. Hopefully, we'll get there. So what does this company do? Well, I'm not going to be able to tell you from this because this is not their description. This is Neon Mines. This is the company they did the reverse merger with. So where does a guy go now to get information about the company? Well, if they've got recent news, they've got a recent description in it. They tell us here that Lancaster Resources is engaged in exploring energy transition metals. They are primarily working on lithium, but they are looking for that copper, cobalt, and nickel as well all to take advantage of this big global shift towards decarbonization and electrification. Its alkali flat lithium project in Lordsburg, New Mexico involves the exploration of below surface lithium brine targets. Lancaster's goal is to produce climate positive lithium. Their strategic plan includes the utilization of direct lithium extraction and the potential application of solar power to bring the carbon footprint of its prospective lithium extraction facility close to net zero. Lancaster's endeavors align with the vision of leveraging sustainable energy sources and the state of our technologies to facilitate climate positive resource extraction. This is going to make them very attractive to the government, get some of that inflation reduction money. They go on to tell us that guiding Lancaster Resources journey is a skilled management and technical team endowed with extensive experience in the creation of lithium brine targets and the exploration and development of lithium projects across the American West, Mexico, and South America. Now let's focus in on a few key elements they talk about here. First, that piece of property. We'll jump on over here to their website, lancaster-resources.com. They tell us here that they have the right to acquire 100% of the Alkali Flat Lithium Project. And this is right down in the bottom southwestern corner of Mexico. It is right next to an interstate which transects the project. So access is real easy to this property. It's going to make it well suited to support the exploration program. 
And they know there's brine here for two good reasons. One, there is a huge lithium company, the Clayton Valley, just north of them. And then they've got all this data that came out for the National Uranium Reconnaissance Program. Back when they were looking for uranium, they did a bunch of testing in this area and they got all that data and they know this is rich. So they're about ready to start drilling. Now looking a little closer at the property because they've got information here and there, this brings it all together. This comes from their presentation. You can get this presentation by coming over to their website and just jumping onto the link and there's lots of information here. Technical, general, there's just a lot of it here. So they break down the benefits of this project. The newer data, this is that data they got from that uranium survey. Uh, RC drill program, lower cost of drilling for lithium brine targets because they're not going into hard rock, they're going into soft earth. Excellent access because they're right there next to the highway. They got that claim for 100%. They are drilling on an adjacent property. The Arizona Lithium has conducted exploration and identified drilling targets immediate north of their project. They tell us here they've got that experienced technical team and you really need to do some research in this team because they have got it going on. Everything from the president, which is a woman, right on down to their teams of archeologists and geologists and scientists, they have really got a strong team here. And I would love to dive into all of that, but I think I'm gonna save that for you. And this is a really large basin right there in the center. It's kind of like a pool. It's the deepest area. It's where everything would settle. So they're very excited about this. Another point of concern is their climate positive lithium. This is real important. We want to keep it green. At Lancaster Resources, our commitment to sustainability goes beyond just reducing our carbon footprint. Our goal is to become a carbon negative lithium producer meaning we will actively remove more carbon dioxide from the atmosphere than we emit during our production process. How about that? They're making it cleaner, not dirtier. To achieve this, we will implement a number of innovative technologies and practices, such as using renewable energy sources for production and capturing and storing carbon dioxide emissions. This positions the company perfectly to benefit from the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act of 2022. This is the single largest investment in climate and energy in American history, $1.2 trillion. And this is to secure America's position as a world leader in domestic clean energy manufacturing. And of that $1.2 trillion, the government has earmarked over $450 billion to go to companies helping to reduce carbon, helping to mine these critical metals. Now, I like this early entry company because of one particular reason. Look at this news. Starting in 2023, the U.S. government will require that at least 40% of all the critical minerals in EV batteries be sourced from the United States or countries with which the U.S. has free trade agreements or at least be recycled in North America. 40% in 2023. By 2024, they want 50%. The next year, 60, then 70, and 80 by 2026. Now think about this. Right now, 80% of all of our lithium comes from other places in the world, not here. And the market for EVs is just growing. We're just getting started. So when every single person starts buying electric cars, folks, we're going to need more lithium than we have right now. A lot more. And the government's going to require that more and more of our lithium come from domestic resources, which means any companies here in America are going to have the pressure on them to produce and they're going to become valuable. So early entry is a huge deal. All right, let's go take a look at that relative volume and get some more information about the stock. Jumping on back to the OTC markets to get more information about this Australian mining company working in the good old US of A. We are looking at a relative volume. It is light. It is ultra light. 121 is her average share count and 105 is what she did today. Now keep in mind, the company's only been on the market since June 15th. I think she's under the radar. Now, I'm not saying that as a cliche. I mean it as a literal definition. I don't think anyone sees her. I think they're oblivious to the fact there's a new lithium mine company on the market. So maybe my video will help a little bit. 
But there is some real good information we can get here. You see this 52 week range? They show you the low and the high in 52 weeks. Well, this company's only been on the market for 10 days. They have jumped from 004 to 50 cents in 10 days. Folks, that is a 12,000 plus percent gain. Oh my God. I told you the other day she had a 500% jump and a couple days before that, a 1400% jump. So yeah, she likes to bounce. And why do you think that is? Could it be because she has a low float? Yes, she does. We have a float under 10 million that is a legitimate low float. Now I did have to go verify these numbers because there's a news press, the last piece of news that Neon Mind came out with, that they were doing a reverse split to get ready for the reverse merger. Well, normally those numbers carry over, but they didn't. Things got changed and I'm not real sure why. So I went out and looked and these numbers are right. Our outstanding share count is about 43 million. Insiders do own about 33 million shares and we get under 10 million. So we have a legitimate low float to be bouncing on that chart with. Financials for the company are zilch. They're not making anything yet. They're an exploration company, like a pharmaceutical company doing research and development, looking for the miracle drug. They're looking for the mother load, but they know where it's at. They just got to go out, drill, get samples and prove it. Disclosures for the company. We got nothing over here. All we have is a few pieces of news. As I said, Neon Mind had a piece that was at the beginning of the year. That was their exit letter. Then you have your entrance letter here for Lancaster Resources on June 14th when they came on the Canadian and the American market. And then here in June, they added some more team members. And I do advise you to do some due diligence on the team members. All right, so you see what's happening here. I've been doing a lot of talking about this chart. You want to see those bounces? I want to show them to you. Come on. Not a lot of chart to analyze, but it has some real impressive features. This is Lancaster Resources, ticker L-A-N-R-F, and we're going to be doing all of our charting on Thinkorswim. This is the only trading platform I got. I got it free when I signed up with TD Ameritrade, and that was free too. So we are looking at a 30-minute, 10-day chart. Really doesn't matter what time we look at. It's all going to be the same because there's only five days of trading. One day, two day three days, four and five. She started off here at about 13 and a half cents the first two days. She opened up the third day at about 14 cents, went up a half a penny. Partway through that day, she dropped all the way to a penny from 13 and a half cents. There's your 1400% jump right back to normal. The next day she opened up at about 11 cents and she went to 50 cents. There's your 500% jump. And then she had a huge fall back down to about 18 cents. Now we can say she's on an uptrend, right? I could draw a line there. She is definitely going up. She is on top of her nine day SMA. Our oscillators are looking good. She likes to bounce with this low float on low volume. What's going to happen when big volume comes in? Little volume is getting this thing to jump hard. Big volume could get it to surge. Now, I do like the bounce factor, but we've got to consider the early entry opportunity. This company hasn't even been noticed yet, and they are in America where year after year, the lithium mining is going to become more prevalent and more valuable. So I think this may be an excellent time to consider LANRF. Now, looking at some of the highlights for why you'd want to invest in this, top tier mining jurisdiction, net zero target, they're getting rid of carbon, not creating it. Solar powered potential, absolutely a growing demand in critical metals. This is gonna get bigger, bigger, and bigger. They have an experienced team, and as I said, do your DD there. The management is the make or break of any company. And they have a low valuation. Well, of course they do, they just got here. Excellent opportunity, folks. But of course, as I always say, do your own due diligence especially if you're into mining. I left a lot for you. Remember folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.